creative education. And I am going to show you today how to juggle. Yes, juggle. That's the art of throwing things up into the air and keeping them going and keeping them like they're flying high up in the air. So I'm gonna give that a little go today. Um, this is a video and remember you can pause me at any time if you don't know what to do you can go back again you can replay it go back again keep replaying you can keep going back and back and back and back that's the joy of putting this on the video is that you can use this at any time um what i'm going to use today for showing you how to juggle is to use some scarves now these are juggling scarves you can see they're all pretty colors lots of different colors you can get um these are really really cheap to get now you can get these online on the internet uh, you can find them they're really really cheap to get but remember make sure that a grown-up is helping you buy these things don't just go off and buy these things yourself uh, find a grown-up to help you and say yeah i really really want some juggling scarves I and mean, you can use them in all sorts of ways um, they don't have to be juggling scarves you could pretend that um oh well, you're getting married Here comes the maybe not maybe not well, we're gonna use these for juggling. But if you haven't got any of these, that's fine. You could go and grab some hankies. What about your dad's old used hanky? What about try that? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Oh, well, at least wash it. Definitely wash it first. That's the thing. So, once you've got your scarves, you can go off and get them. You wanna go and get them? Remember, you can pause this video at any time. You just pause it, and then you go and get them and come back and start again. Remember how to pause? You press that button there. You press the button there and stop. And I'm paused. You see that? Pause it. Out and back again. There you are. <laughs> so we've got some juggling scarves. So now you've got something similar. Maybe you've got a hanky. Maybe you've got some tissues just to practice with until you can get hold of some beautiful scarves like these. What I want you to do is to take one of them like that. Now it might be a square, but it might be a different shape. That's fine. You're going to hold it in the middle like that. Then what I want you to do is take out fingers like this. Can you take out your two fingers? That's it, remember, this is a video, so I can't tell if you're doing it or not, so you're gonna have to play along with me, all right? Hold out your fingers like this, and you're gonna draw a box in front of you. You draw a box, can you do that for me? Draw a box with your fingers like that. Brilliant. That's it, bigger box. Oh, that's a beautiful box. Now what I want you to do, is you're gonna take one of the scarves in your hand, and what I want you to do is to throw it across your body, up into the top corner of that box that you just drew. Remember that box there, like that? That's it, the top corner over here, the opposite side. So you're gonna take it in one of your hands, it doesn't matter which hand you wanna start in, and you're gonna throw it to the opposite corner. So you're gonna throw it up into the air, lift it up into the air, and catch with the other hand. And try that again, hold it in one hand like that, and go throw it up, and catch. Now the reason we use scarves to practice juggling is because if you've got juggling balls, when you throw them up in the air, they fall down to the ground really, really quickly. So these just give you a little bit more time, which is always good, isn't it, if you get a bit more time to practice. So you're gonna take it in your hand again like that. Remember that top corner up there? You're gonna throw it up into the top corner and catch. Then you've got another corner of the box up there. Oh, that beeping. I think my washing's done. Yeah! You're gonna take it in this hand and you're gonna throw it up into this corner over here. So you're gonna try that. Ready, one, two, three, up into the air and then catch again. I just really just get used to throwing from one hand to the other and catching. That seems really quite easy at first, isn't it? I'm sure all of you can do that. Can you show me that? Can you show me you're doing that? Do it. Brilliant! Yeah, that's brilliant. That's it, hold it in one hand, throw it up into the air, into the corner and catch. Cross your body, into the air and catch. Up into the air and catch. Now, we're gonna get a bit more complicated. Ooh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have two. Now, we've got two hands, we've got two scarves. Now what we're gonna do is hold them in the same way. Let them hang like that, don't screw them up into a little ball. You want them to float in the air, beautifully float in the air like that. So make sure they're not all screwed up into a ball in your hand. So you're gonna hold them like that, that's it. Once you've got them here, remember those two corners, the top two corners of the box there. You can throw one into that corner, then the other one into that corner. So what you're gonna do is throw one up, then the other one, then catch, then catch. So you've got to go throw, throw, catch. Oh, you see how that one just fell on top of my head? It doesn't always work. It's all right, it's all about practicing. Let's give it another go. Are we ready? Try it again. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Got that? Throw, throw, catch, catch. Remember to do it in that order. So we've got to throw one up, then the other one, then catch, then catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. You see how they all just float down. Floaty, 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 like that. Gives you time to catch them. And they're nice and big and quite easy to catch, aren't they? One, two, three, four. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. What I want you to do is to pause the video there. You can pause the video. And once you pause the video, you can just practice that a few times. Because it's really important you get that into your 
physical memory it's called, okay? We've got a memory up here, but we've got a physical memory as well. And this is gonna get your hands working. So I want you to pause the video. Can you pause it now? There you go. Welcome back, we're back again. Now, I hope that you've practiced that a few times. So maybe you've got that really good now where you can go throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Now, here comes the really tricky bit. The really tricky bit is to have three scarves. And that's juggling properly because we've got more scarves than we've got hands. So that makes it really, really difficult. So now what we're gonna have is three scarves. This is where having different colors really helps. Okay, so if you've got your three scarves, what I want you to do is hold two of the scarves in one hand. So you have got to hold them one like that, and then you're gonna grip the other one just like that. So we've got two scarves in one hand, and we've got one in the other. Now we're gonna start where we've got the two scarves. Start with the hand you've got the two scarves in. And remember that idea of throwing it into the corner and then the other one. So what we're gonna do is go throw one into the corner, then the other one, then the other one, and then the other one. And you keep throwing and throwing and catching. Throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. Now this probably makes it look really, really easy. Does it make it look easy? It doesn't feel easy. It just feels a bit crazy. I'm throwing all up in the air and keeping them going and slow and slow them down and catch. Oh, drop one. It doesn't matter if you drop one. It's as light as a feather. Won't do any harm at all. Just make sure you've got a big bit of space around you. That's really important. Have a big bit of space around you. That's it. You can do this in your bedroom. You can do this in the living room. You can do this wherever you want, as long as you've got a bit of space. Trouble is, if you do this outside, the wind, when this goes up to the air, will make it go. And you might lose your scarf. So maybe do this indoors with the scarves. So remember, two in one hand. We've got those corners. And we're going to throw one into that corner then the other one, and then the other one. You're gonna keep throwing and throwing and catching and catching. So we've got, if you can do this, you might even have to slow it down. Maybe you can do that, maybe you can slow the video down. So what we do is we go throw, 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 throw. Keep throwing and catching, throwing and catching, throwing and catching, throwing and catching, throwing and catching. And you can really concentrate hard. Remember, you can play this video back and back again so you can really see it. Maybe you can even slow the video down so you can really see it even better, what I'm doing. But throw and catch, throw and catch, and throw and catch. We got that. I'll tell you what also this is really good for. This is really good for something called mindfulness. Now you might have heard about this, mindfulness. It's all about how we can keep ourselves healthy in our minds. And what juggling does is really concentrate our mind on the present, on the here and now. I don't mean like a Christmas present. No. I mean the present being here and now. Not worrying about things that happened in the past, not worrying about things that are gonna happen in the future. I want to think about the things that are happening now. And this helps relax the brain because we're using all of our brain power to juggle. It takes lots of concentration to juggle and to play that pattern. Remember, juggling is all about patterns. And when we're using our juggling scarves or we're throwing up into the air, what we're having to do is really concentrate really hard. And that stops us having to worry about things in the past or in the future. We give our time, we give time for our brains just to relax and think about a task in hand at the moment, here and now. And mindfulness is all about thinking about the here and now, being present, okay? So this really does help with mindfulness as well, as well as being great fun. And also you can show off to your mates when you've done it, yeah? Because I think you can do it. Now you might not be able to do it straight away. And do you know what? It'll get really frustrating. I bet a lot of you are like this now. <laughs> And we get a bit stressed, don't we? Get a bit worried that we haven't done it straight away. Well, do you know what? Juggling is all about practice. It's about practicing a little bit every day. Not just doing it for ages and ages and ages, doing it a little bit every day and you'll get better and better and better. And if everybody could do it straight away, just from watching this video for a couple of minutes, then it wouldn't be very difficult, would it? And I think with juggling, why it's impressive is because it's difficult to do. So I want you to really practice hard. Really practice hard, keep practicing, okay? We'll do that again one more time. We're gonna throw it up into the air, up into the air. Remember those two corners of that box? Remember that box like that. Throwing up into the air, up into the air. Throw and catch, 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 throw and catch. And keep throwing, keep catching, keep throwing, catch, throwing and catching, throwing and catching. Oh, do you know what? It's a good workout as well, actually. You can do this as a bit of a workout, yeah? It's good to work out at home, isn't it? Get fit. There we are, throwing and catching, throwing and catching. But it's more of a fun workout, isn't it, than just running on the spot. I like this. Yeah, throwing and catching, throwing and catching, throwing and catching, throwing and catching. And maybe when you've mastered that, you can move on to the juggling balls. And they're really quite difficult because they fly through the air much quicker and they're smaller and they're harder to catch. But if you can do this, you can move on to the juggling balls. So, thank you for watching the video. 
My name's Callum from One Day Creative Education and hopefully you're going to come back and see more of the videos on this channel. Remember to like the channel. You've got to click down in there, I think down in the screen there, you can click the like button and make sure you follow One Day Creative Education for lots more wonderful videos in all sorts of different topics. Um, and that'll be great, it'll be fun. So I hope to see you again soon and remember, keep on juggling. Yeah.